So, um, I watched a bunch of horror movies in succession really recently, and this, just as a little side video, I wanted to point this out, that I have some problems with horror films, and it's partially the reason why I can't get into any of them. Now, movies that don't have the usual, there's a usual formula in horror, and movies that don't have it are the ones I like. Um, or ones that do have it, but put a twist on it. Um, for example, the Saw movies, I don't get scared of, because I'm not scared by gore. Um, and I'm not scared of the fact that, oh, it can happen to you if you do something evil. I appreciate them, don't get me wrong. Um, I think they got a little stupid and... Over time, I think they should have stopped at, like, three and just left it there. Uh, wh whatever movie it was where there was, like, a group of them and that bitch had to, like, dive into a bunch of needles. When there's a group of people, it takes away less from the factor of you being able to personalize yourself with one character. Like, like the first, like, the first Saw movie with those two guys that were chained up, it was only two guys, yeah, but you could personalize with, like... Fucking, I don't want to be in this situation. Oh my god. But when you see, like, five different people, like, trying to reason and getting killed off, it's just like... <sighs> Alright. That guy's dead. Black guy died first. Lovely. Except there was... I don't even think there was a black guy in the movie. Huh. Kind of racist. Anyway. However, I do like movies that play on that formula, such as Cabin in the Woods, which... Followed a lot of tropes that you see in horror films, excluding black guy dies first and blonde dumb gets killed first. Um, although the dumb blonde did get killed very early on, and the person who you think was gonna be the one to die ends up not dying. Like the one who you would have like, okay, I see their archetypes. This guy's clearly gonna die. He doesn't. And it was it was a it was a rug pull and I and I kind of liked it. I liked movies that surprised me. Um, a perfect example of that is Chronicle, which isn't a horror movie. It was a uh, sci-fi in a weird way. It was a modern sci-fi, so it was like an element that's not naturally commonplace nowadays, but it takes place in our time period, in our era. So it was about some kids with telekinesis, and one of them got drunk with power. And, so on and so forth. If you want to know what it is, just fucking go ghoul it. It was a great movie. It was. It didn't get enough attention, in my opinion. It was the only movie ever to make me cry and feel bad for a character. Yeah, that's hard to do, because I have this weird disconnect with movies. But what I'm trying to get at is horror... That's how horror is done in a good way. Saw and Cabin in the Woods, both rug pulls, both going completely against what horror had been. Um, one in the gory aspect, one in the parody aspect. I was actually more concerned for the characters in the parody and in Saw than other movies like like Halloween or or Friday the Thirteenth. So then we come across a problem of stuff of movies, the horror movies we have nowadays, like The Woman in Black or The Woman in Black Two, which just recently came out by the time of recording. Um and Annabelle, and stuff like that. Um, and this video idea came to me when I watched The Conjuring, and uh, there was another movie very similar to it that, that got my juices and my brain flowing. Horror has not been very good recently, and I know that's not a new statement, that's nothing groundbreaking or anything, but it's starting to get to the point where it's not horror anymore. It's... It's just jump scares. Stuff like The Exorcist, Poltergeist, some of the older horror movies. Psycho you could even consider a horror movie. Although I consider it more of a deep, dark psyche into Hitchcock's mind. Psy a psyche dive into his, into his mind. It's just... That's what I consider horror. I consider horror something that gives me nightmares. Something that I'm, like, looking behind myself to make sure that thing isn't behind me. When I first watched Halloween, it scared the shit out of me. Me walk down a suburban neighborhood? Never again. Uh, the first Friday the 13th movie. I didn't get scared by it, but then again, I watched that, like, when I was 12, and I had already been ex 
exposed to a lot of horror stuff, so it kind of just disconnected for me. But Saw, I was so... I'm still, to this day, very scared of Saw. But not because of the movie, because of the concept behind it. That it can happen to anyone, and the smallest mistake can have big consequences. And that's what the whole movie's about. It's not just about gore and killing people. It's about, you know, taking responsibility and, and you know, valuing your life. And it's a very good message, and I like that. And that's it's one of the many ways to do it. Plenty of other movies have done it in less violent ways, but Saw did it in a good way, and I, I appreciate it. But a lot of movies recently, like Woman in Black and Annabelle and, and, and other recent horror movies, have relied on jump scares for a lot of other things. So, this got me thinking. I went to go see w Woman in Black 2, and I thought it was a piece of shit. Um, I had already seen Woman in Black 1, and I thought, hey, it's just a, another thing to carry on from this one. And it, it was exactly what I was expecting, a piece of shit following a piece of shit f film. If you like The Woman in Black and The Woman in Black 2, more power to you. I just personally don't. But it got me thinking, I'm going to watch some old horror movies and compare it to some new ones and see what, what's changed. Um, and the first thing I started, and this is how I started. I started off with the movies, movies, rather, Carrie. Uh, the old one, which I don't even remember what year it was made, and the more recent one with that girl from Kick-Ass, uh, Chloe Grace Martez or something. Something along those lines. So I watched the first carry, and I enjoyed it. Of course I did. It was a great movie. And then I watched a new one, and I was pleasantly surprised. Um, it's very faithful to the original, and in fact, I believe that uh, Chloe, the new girl, the new carry, brought the, char the shy, like, new character of Carrie and explained, and, like, it made, it f made you feel for her. Because in the other one, it was just like, oh, she's got telekinesis, that's kind of weird. Whereas in this one, she's like, oh my god. You're like, oh my god, what it? oh, that's so horrible. Why would anyone do this? And then the whole pig blood's dumping scene, and you, there's a huge build-up to when the pig blood gets dumped on her in the new one. And it is the saddest thing, because it's like, it goes in slow-mo, and it's so beautiful. She looks great. Chloe Grace Martinez. Martinez? Martez, whatever. Amazing body, I'm not gonna lie. But her in a dress. Beautiful. Anyway. So, and then Pig's Blood gets something on her and she goes fucking batshit and tries to kill people. Or, and succeeds. But there was something that caught my attention. It was that the first Carrie, everyone considered a horror movie. And I don't see why. I saw the old Carrie and I didn't think it was a horror movie. I thought it was more of a horror sci-fi. Then I saw the new one. And it brought to my attention that it's less of a horror movie now. And that's the re that's the thing with a lot of stuff. It's less horror and more action. Now, just because you have a jump scare doesn't mean that it's horror. Take, for instance, a game, since I am a gamer, a game that is full of jump scares called Five Nights at Freddy's, or Five Nights at Freddy's 2, whichever you prefer. Chock full of jump scares. In fact, that is the most horrifying bit, is getting the jump scare. Now, there's a, of course, that's not the only pit of the game. You, there's this huge, there's a rich story, there's substance, you know, there's this tension of like, oh god, can they see me? Oh no, close the doors, turn off all the lights, I'm not fighting anyone right now. Stuff like that. It, that's really good, and it has that, but it most of the horror relies on the jump scare, and the fear of getting the jump scare. But in recent horror films, it's the same kind of jump scare. And they're kind of predictable. So much to where Cabin in the Woods even made fun of it. Um, there was a scene, and fucking spoiler alert, if you haven't seen Cabin in the Woods, go see it. I know everyone said, oh, it's boring. It was really good, in my opinion. If you, if you don't like it, that's fine, but at least go see it. It was, it was, it was kind of neat, and I liked what they did with it. Um, it's definitely not what you would expect out of, out of something called a, the cab, a Cabin in the Woods. Like, it's not at all what you think. But, um... It's a frolicking time. It's just a happy time frolicking through the flowers and rainbows and bunnies everywhere. <laughs> but jump scares are getting predictable. And in Cabin in the Woods, there was a scene where the girl makes out with like a like a fake wolf head and everyone was everyone in the audience was like, That wolf head's gonna come to life, I just know it. And it didn't. And that was of course a rug pull. But if I know 
before there is any explanation as to why the monster why a monster exists in a movie. For instance, Annabelle. If I see a character, or in this case, a puppet, and know instantly that that's going to be the reason everyone dies, without seeing trailers, by the way, I, I ignored all Annabelle trailers. I, I saw one come up, I was like, close the window. I don't want to know. Because I like to stay anonymous for movies, I like to be surprised. So, if I already know, just by you showing me a picture of, Anna, of the Annabelle doll, that that's going to be the thing that kills people, how it kills people, and why it kills people, if I know that just by looking at it, you have done, you have not scared me. In fact, you have made me less interested than I already was, because I already know what's going to happen. I already know how they're going to die, I already know what's going to kill them, and I already know the motivation for the thing killing them in the first place. So, there's no real sense of suspense, there's no real sense of progression in, in the story. And you need that as much as you need it in video games or in a book or in any other medium. You need progression, and a lot of horror movies don't have that. The Lady in Black 2, I, there was no sense of progression, because I, I thought it should have just ended with the first movie and let it be a shitty movie, but no, they had to make a sequel, because MONEY! But, regardless of the fact, I am sad that horror has become what it has. It's not scary. When I see a new horror movie come out, or a sequel to a horror movie, I don't think, holy shit, that's really scary. I think, what's new? What can this movie bring to the table? Now, recently there will be a movie released called Unfriended, and the best way I can shortly summarize it, based on trailers, it's a Skype horror movie. This chick gets recorded doing some bad stuff and die, commit suicide because of the embarrassment, because it was posted on YouTube. Despite YouTube having a very strong regulation and their content very strictly regulated. And so she, her ghost comes back and kills people. On, but it's all done through like a Skype chat. And it's different. And I like different. That's why I liked Cabin in the Woods. That's why I like Saw. They were different. They went against the grain of what we consider horror now. Which is, oh no, a spooky house. But I guess we have to live there. Oh no, something fell off a shelf. Well, I guess that's totally normal. Oh no, a jump scare! Ah! That's not horror. And so when I see something like Unfriended, or Saw, or Cabin in the Woods, or something like that, break the status quo of what I consider horror to be now, I genuinely become scared. And I want to go see it. I want to be scared. I want a movie, at least a horror movie, I want it to scare the shit out of me. I want it to. When I watch Women in Black, or Annabelle, or The Conjuring, I don't get scared, because I know what's going to happen. Even if I haven't seen the movie before, I already know this character's going to die, this character's going to live, this character had two lines, oh, he's definitely dying. Here's the main antagonist, here's why they're doing what they're doing. In Unfriended, yeah, sure, I know that, but it's such a novelty concept. It's such a weird way of showing it. Uh, in Saw, Jigsaw's doing it to show you how to value your life, and to show these people how to value their life. Yeah, sure, all the horror cliches are there, of, you know, escaping so far, just right there, but you just can't get it because of this presence. And tons of gore, and Cabin in the Woods, tons of gore, and there being no escape, and genuinely wanting to see the characters escape, and stuff like that, and Sure, all those cliches are there, but they do it, they handle the cliches in such a way that it doesn't feel like a cliche. It doesn't feel like, we, oh, we've seen this before. So what do we do? What do we, as consumers, do? And what do directors do? And producers and all the, all the important people during movies. People who write it. What do we do now? Because horror is not scary anymore. And very rarely are we getting horror... That is genuinely scary. I personally don't know. Um, my suggestion would be to take an example from Saw, Cabin in the Woods, the original Carrie, and the new Carrie, too, um, and, un and this new movie, Unfriended, and stuff like that, and other movies that, that maybe I'm forgetting that, are, that were really you know off the beaten path as far as horror goes, and try to expand upon that. 
Because horror is not just jump scares. Horror is not someone going blah, 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 in your face. Horror is not, oh no, it's a dark corridor. Was that the tap sound behind me? I don't know. Maybe I should look. Oh no, a monster! Blah! And then it stabs you in the throat. No, that is not horror. That is a five-year-old's idea of horror. That is not scary. When I go to see a horror movie, I expect to be scared. So, on that note, all you lovely people at home, leave in the comment box below what you think horror movies need now. Uh, maybe you think I'm entirely wrong. Maybe jump scares are what makes a movie for you. I don't know why you would think that, but hey, you know, you're entitled to your opinion. Um, let me know what you guys think. I'm curious to see your, to your, to see your responses and hear from you. So, on that note, I think I've talked for, like, about 15, 16 minutes already, so, on that note, I will see you guys later. Have a wonderful day, everyone. Goodbye.